Nanofabrication facilities are essentially like the machine shop of the 21st century. They're the tools for making things on extremely small length scales. For reference, one nanometer is about one one hundred thousandth the diameter of a human hair. And if I think about the dust in the air around me, each of those dust particles is almost 5,000 nanometers. With this facility, we can make things that are much, much smaller than that. Say, 500 of these devices fitting across a single particle of dust. That's precisely what has enabled the microelectronics revolution that moved us from room-sized computers to pocket-sized cell phones. So if you want to fabricate a nanometer device in a normal laboratory conditions, it would be like uh, you put uh, icing on a cake while others throw tennis ball at you or at the cake. So the nanofabrication facility solves these uh, shortcomings by providing a very stringent environment controls. So for example, if people want to do biomedical diagnostics or environmental sensing or agricultural sensing, these sensors that you make on nanometer length scales can be drastically, thousands of times more sensitive than what is available with conventional means. If you've ever used night vision goggles, those sense infrared light, and so we're looking to make new materials and new structures that would make infrared sensors more efficient, infrared emitters brighter, make night vision goggles, environmental sensing all work better. In our lab, we focus on cancer, we focus on asthma, uh, and we focus on, in general, how structures are formed. And we use those technologies to create uh, regenerative medicine strategies. So can we then go and regrow an organ, like a lung or a vascular system? Currently, if we want to image biological cells, usually you have to kill them, which means you can't watch what they're doing in real time. If you had a metamaterial that let you look below the diffraction limit of light, that let you see these tiny objects, you could watch cells in real time and see what they're doing. Those kinds of improved functionalities will give us a lot of new opportunities to not just miniaturize, but also expand the capabilities of devices making new things that are smaller, faster, more sensitive in ways that we were never able to do before.